Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 small dog breeds that don't shed. So before starting, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Do you want a canine companion but are always sneezing and scratching when you're around them? Do you live in a tiny space where a large breed can't get the exercise they need to thrive? You might want to consider a hypoallergenic small dog breed. Small hypoallergenic dogs come in a variety of forms and sizes, so even in this seeming niche category, there are plenty of pups to choose from. Our list will introduce you to a few hypoallergenic tiny dogs who can provide you with the kind of unconditional affection that only dogs can provide, without the sneezing and watery eyes. What is the definition of a hypoallergenic dog? The coat of a hypoallergenic dog is non-shedding and produces far less pet dander than other breeds. Pet dander, which is made up of extremely minute, even microscopic pieces of skin that shed along with the coats of cats, dogs, rodents, and birds, is a common cause of allergic reactions. Allergic reactions, such as frequent sneezing, runny or stuffy noses, and irritated eyes, can be caused by proteins contained in these skin cells. Household pets, such as dogs, are allergic to about 10% of the American population. 10 Popular Hypoallergenic Tiny Dog Breeds you have a long selection of hypoallergenic small dog breeds to pick from if you're seeking one. These are just a few of the hypoallergenic small dog breeds that have allowed allergy sufferers to experience the camaraderie and loyalty that comes with having a dog, as well as the numerous kisses and tail wags. 10. Bedlington Terrier. Beneath his gentle, lamb-like appearance, the Bedlington Terrier has the heart of a lion, especially when it comes to small creatures. He is one of the more unusual terrier breeds, with his crisp and curly coat and somewhat relaxed, for a terrier, nature. Any opportunity to chase prey such as rats or squirrels brings out his inner and assertive earth dog nature though. The Bedlington's moderate size of 17 to 23 pounds makes him suited to most homes, including apartments and condos. He's an excellent watchdog but will greet your guests joyously. The Bedlington has a sense of humor and enjoys being the center of attention. As a bonus, he'll rid your home and yard of any mice, rats or other rodents that may have taken up residence. 9. Chinese Crested. A hairless Chinese Crested can't be fooled for any other breed thanks to its beautiful, fairy tale appearance. Despite his small size, he has a pony-like appearance, with furred feet, head, and tail, and a mainly hairless body. The Crested is vivacious, charming, and portable, like many toy breeds, making it an amusing and loving companion for mild households. A hairless Chinese crested can catch a cold, but he doesn't have to deal with it very often. He's a well-known lap dog who prefers to spend his time curled up with his family. He appears to provide as much as he receives in terms of warmth, radiating heat from his exposed skin. When he does venture out, he must protect his exposed skin from the sun, which necessitates the use of canine clothing and human sunscreen. When the weather becomes chilly, you'll need to transition to a winter wardrobe, Sweaters are a necessity for this breed, not a fashion statement. The hairless and powderpuff kinds of Chinese Cresteds are available. People with minor allergies may be able to handle the powderpuff because of its reduced shedding. To keep his coat from tangling, he needs to be brushed frequently. 8. Bolognese. Round dark eyes peering out of a fluffy ringleted body entice you in with their lovely expression. The Bolognese is a robust little dog who loves to have fun beneath that cloud of curls. He doesn't require daily walks, but if that's what you want to do, he'll be right there with you, ready and willing. He's fine with being a couch potato if that's more your thing. He is inquisitive, amusing, loyal, and intelligent. You're going to have some issues with your adult Bolognese if you can't say, no, to a lovely tiny white fluff ball. Of course, you can indulge him, after all, that's what toy dogs are for. But lavishing him with love and attention, as well as the softest position in the house, most likely your lap, doesn't mean you have to put up with his nipping, snapping, or bothersome barking. Make sure he understands the rules and applies them consistently and gently from the beginning, and he'll be a prince without becoming a dictator. 7. Brussels Griffon. The Brussels Griffon has developed 200 years ago in Belgium from a cross between an English toy spaniel, a pug, and a little German terrier. He has a beautiful air of self-importance that never fails to entertain his people, and he combines intelligence with a funny personality. He likes to think he controls the house, and he frequently does, but he's a softie who enjoys having his family's undivided attention. 
he can be difficult to live with unless you have a good sense of humor and the patience of job. The disposition of the Brussels Griffon ranges from energetic and active to reserved and shy, with the rest falling somewhere in the between. When he's content with his lot in life, he's affectionate and adaptable, enjoys playing, and may be found tearing about the house or running circles in the yard. Because of his overwhelming want to be with his favorite person at all times, he is commonly referred to as a Velcro dog. 6. Scottish Terrier The Scottish Terrier's image has long been considered an icon, with hordes of collectors scouring eBay for decades-old souvenirs with his distinctive form. The Scottish Terrier is one of the most identifiable dog breeds, with his bearded face, rugged black coat, and stiff tail. Scotty has strong opinions about how things should be, and youngsters who are rowdy and unpredictable don't fit into his master plan. He doesn't like cats or other tiny hairy animals, and it's fairly uncommon for him to have negative feelings about other dogs. Of course, the trade-off is that you'll have his undivided attention. The Scottish Terrier is a difficult dog to train, but he enjoys a challenge, so a canine sport like agility could be a terrific way for you to strengthen your bond with him while also engaging his mind and exhausting him. 5. West Highland Terrier The iconic image of a well-coiffed Westie wearing a nice, tartan-patterned rain slicker exemplifies how fashionable the West Highland White Terrier is. He can live in the city, the suburbs, or the countryside. Westies are active, people-oriented dogs who are loved and admired for their dazzling white coats and sparkly, shoe-button eyes when they are at their finest. To eliminate annoying barking and digging, these dogs require plenty of exercise and playing, as well as good training. Westies thrive at agility, obedience, flyball, and other canine activities and are well suited for competing in American Kennel Club Earth Dog contests. These activities keep his bright mind stimulated and his boundless energy channeled, preventing him from digging up your garden or driving your neighbors insane with his barking. 4. Toy Poodle The Poodle is the only breed with a fully developed sense of humor. This is a good thing because no breed has been the target of more jokes than this one. Putting aside the humor, all of the sniping is unfortunate because it causes many families to overlook the Poodle, a smart and hard-working breed. With his intelligence, ease of training, low shedding curly coat, and ardent love of family, the Poodle is perennially one of the most popular breeds across the world. The Poodle is smart and diligent with a bright demeanor when kept in a practical short clip and treated like a dog, not a topiary. This easy-to-train canine can go wherever he wants and perform everything he's told. They get along well with other dogs, cats, and strangers, and they're simple to house train. Poodles don't shed much, but they still need grooming every four to six weeks. Some poodle owners learn how to use clippers and conduct their grooming, but the majority of them hire professional groomers. In either case, it's critical to maintain the poodle's curly coat, since it can quickly become matted and create painful skin infections at the roots if it isn't clipped regularly. 3. Shi Tzu The Shi Tzu, once the cherished lapdog of Chinese emperors, sees no reason to tolerate even the smallest drop in rank. However, his belief that the world revolves around him is rarely accompanied by arrogance or aggression. The Shi Tzu is one of the nicer toy breeds and also one of the most popular, which is somewhat surprising given his desire to be treated. Shi Tzus do not defend, hunt, or dig tunnels into the ground, though they may return balls for you to re-throw. They've been bred to do one thing, and they do it well, they're companion dogs who offer and receive love. They're the type of dog to curl up in your lap. They'll bark to let you know someone is at the door. Once the person enters, your dog is likely to like them just as much as you do, because dogs are trustworthy creatures. He's a great apartment dog who also does well in mansions and farms, and he'll adapt to whatever living situation you give him. Nevertheless, he can't live outside. The Shi Tzu is too little, too people-oriented, and too sensitive to heat to live outside. He may not require a palace, but he does require a residence. 2. Bichon Frise The Bichon Frise is one of the sweetest and most lovable dog breeds, with a cotton ball cloud of curly white hair. He enjoys being the center of attention, which is understandable given that he was once adored by royalty and performed tricks to the delight of circus audiences. The fact that Bichons were created to cuddle does not negate the fact that they require exercise and instruction. It's meaningless to suggest that you never give in to your Bichon, but make sure that your training on the key things, such as nipping, snapping, and barking, is gentle and consistent. Don't make your confident, joyful dog a yappy tyrant.
While the Bichon can be a fantastic family companion, it is not recommended for homes with tiny children or older children, especially if you have one of the smaller Bichons. They can easily be hurt if the game is too rough, and they may even snap at a child if they are scared. 1. Miniature Schnauzer The smallest of the three Schnauzer breeds, the Miniature Schnauzer, is a generally healthy, long-lived, and low-shedding companion. You've got a great family dog when you combine an outgoing disposition, a portable size, and sporting good looks. Miniature Schnauzers are stocky, sturdy tiny dogs that stand 12 to 14 inches tall. They were bred down from their larger counterparts, standard Schnauzers. Minis has a beautiful, human-like appearance thanks to his shaggy beard and eyebrows. Salt and pepper, black and silver, and pure black are the three color patterns available on the stiff, wiry coat. They are robust, muscular, and brave without being violent, and were created to be all-around farm dogs and ratters. The miniature Schnauzer is a bright, sociable, and trainable companion that is small enough to fit into an apartment yet tough enough to patrol acres of farmland. They get along with other animals as well as children. Minis are tough little fellows who love to play hard. They make excellent watchdogs since they are home and family orientated. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.